Okay, so welcome to welcome back to our lesson number 10, so continuation of this lecture about if statement. So I'm going to continue with example and we are now in example number five. Let me share the file. Okay, so here's our file. This is where we stopped from last video that we have. And let me go to example number five. Let's analyze this, okay? So let me just minimize this a little bit or let's focus to the task uh, or the criteria. In the criteria, we have attended three seminars, 10%, attended two seminars, 6%, attended one seminar, 3%, and did not attend and at all as no bonus okay so you can see the table each employee seminar one two and three it is written here okay annual salary is being written here as the basis of our bonus we're going to have the percentage of that of uh, those salaries here okay so how will we analyze this attended three sem seminars so the condition is if all of this is yes then we'll have nine percent okay let's go to the uh i mean to the bottom first did not attend okay so that means all of the seminars here written as no that's the time he's going to have no bonus okay so attended two seminars only so it's either seminar one seminar two or seminar two seminar three or seminar one seminar three is yes therefore he gonna get six percent and then attended one seminar so only one of this is yes the others are no so he gonna get three percent of the bonus okay or for the bonus will be three percent of his or her salary okay so let's analyze deeper so we have actually three okay inputs okay previously let's say example number four we have two okay that's a different case here we need to ask a question okay uh about the logic first okay uh, i've shown you that the and and the or operator we can provide uh, a true table so that's what we're going to do right now I'm going to create a new worksheet, okay, here, and let me just make it a little bigger. What do you mean by uh, true logic, uh, log, uh, true table, sorry. Seminar one, seminar, oops, where am I? Seminar one, seminar two, and seminar three okay what's the result let's put it here okay according to our example or our yeah example number five if there are three yeses okay the result will be nine percent okay if there are, let me make it smaller again. Okay, and then if there are true three no's, okay, see. Okay, then there's no bonus. Correct. Okay. Now we have. If we're doing a true table, we have to know all the possibilities of this. And what are the possibilities? Yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes. Okay. If you're going to check seminar one, two, and three, these are the instances that we only have one yes. What's that? All of this is one yes. That means 3%, okay? 3%, so they're all the same. Okay, I'm going to merge and center this. Uh -huh. 
So all of them are 3%. Okay? Now, what are the other combinations? So yes, yes, and no. Okay? No, yes, yes. Okay, there's also another mo another one that's not been written yet. Uh, yes, no, yes. Okay, so here, the result of this is 6%. Okay, these are the instances that we have two yeses. Okay, therefore, uh, the bonus will be 6%. Here, it's 9%. Okay, so let me just, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So correct, eight possible instances because we have three, um, three inputs, okay? So three inputs, how do we know that there are uh, eight possible instances? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight because there are three inputs and two to the three is why there is a two to the three two raised to three and that's equals to eight right it's the same as if you have two inputs in the previous example seminar one and seminar two how many possible how many possible uh combinations four because there are two inputs and two raised to two two inputs here two raised to three okay so this is what does it mean so why this is important this is important for us to be guided in our uh, uh, answer to the question okay i'm going to write it in a uh, notepad let me just end the excel file and let me share another uh, application which is notepad here i'm going to write the answer to that question. Okay, so first, I'm going to use if, okay, and I'm going to use one of the combinations. So let me just show you again one of the combination. Okay, I'm going to start with if all of this is yes, but how do I combine all of this are yes? I'm going to use the AND operator, okay? So let's uh, go back to the notepad. So that is the logical test is AND. What are you testing? Your testing is if it is seminar one, uh, in our example number five, seminar one is C3, seminar two is D3, seminar four is E3. Okay, so C3, is it equal to yes? E3, is it equal to yes? And E3, is it equals to yes? Okay, so that's the first logical test. And you're asking if all of these cells are yes. If it is true, all of them are yes, remember that you're going to use 9%. And 9% is K5. Okay, so that's going to be dollar $K, dollar $5. Okay, multiply to the annual salary, which is in F3. Okay, F3. Okay, so that's our uh, first statement. Okay, uh, what if this is not true. That's the question. Okay, then we have a value if false. As I told you earlier, 
there is another level of questioning. The first question were being asked here if C3, D3, E3 all combined are yes at the same time, then our uh, our result is true. Therefore, we're going to perform this K5, which is 9% times F3. Okay. Now, if it is false, there's another question. The other question are the other statements in our criteria. So let me just end again. Go to the Excel file. Okay, so these are the other criteria. So we already answered that if they attended three seminars or all of the uh, seminars cells here are yes, then 9% of the bonus. Okay, if not, then we're going to answer or question or ask that question again for the next level. Okay, so I'm going to come back Okay, I'm going to come back and uh, continue this on our next video. See you.